Do you want to see how I install my frog juicer? In today's episode, it's all about how I install the frog juicers. From a frog juicer point of view, they're pretty easy to install. There's only a few things you need to do. I've still got a couple over here to do on level one, so I'll show you how I install one of them for the purposes of this video. For those that are using these frog juicers, but also maybe considering using the PSX circuit breakers, there is some programming you need to do, especially on the latest ones. And what you'll find, and I'll demonstrate that very shortly, is that those circuit breakers will kick in first and it will shut down the layout. So as a bonus, I'll be showing you what to do and how to program the PSX to get around that issue. But to kick things off, let's head over to the workbench and I'll show you how to hook these frog juicers up. So here we are over at the workbench and I've got my dual frog juicer that we're gonna be installing today. It's from Tam Valley Depot. So how about we open this up? And obviously in the package, it comes with instructions shows your details. These things can be used to change polarity of points, uh, reverse loops, that type of stuff. So here we have the dual frog juicer in its raw. So here, as you can see, there's two lots of inputs. Now over here is the DCC input. And then what you'll see over here, because it's a dual, there's two inputs here, so you can actually power two points. So what I'm gonna do now is just basically get my power wires ready to go. Uh, as far as the wires to the points, I've already got them. They were installed as you would have seen back with my track lane videos. So we're back and I've just got my wires all ready to go. I've got them stripped. So I'll just go ahead and get these wires into the DCC input. There you go, it's as simple as that. So with that said, let's head over to under the bench work. Okay, here we are. And uh, as you can see here, I've got a couple of wires because I've got two points above on the layout that I need to hook up. And then the frog juicer will control the polarity. So first things first is basically, I'm gonna get the dual frog juicer and attach it to the bottom of this layout. I'll get it in place. I'm looking like I'm gonna put it around there somewhere. Hold it there my electric drill and then drill that into and I apologize my hand probably in the way but it's just drilling like I said just take it slow don't overdo it one side at a time where you think it's right and then bring the other one in. and that's secured enough now really at the end of the day it's just about hooking up these droppers from the electrofrogs and that basically they will be put in over here now it doesn't matter which one you put in which uh, these are just the number so like I say this is the dual one so it's got two inputs if it was the hex it would have six inputs and you just need to put the wires into it there's no particular order or anything like that just each one will control one point get the t-rex in and then strip these wires So they're both in. Now all I need to do now is to hook up the corresponding black and red wires to my DCC bus. And I guess when I was planning ahead, you'll see up here that I have one spare for the red and I have one spare for the black, knowing that I was hooking in these frog juices. So I've got the black wire here. 
as well make sure that it's going into the correct one. And like I say, it looks a little bit messy at the moment, but I will be coming back to clean up the wires. It was just a matter of getting the track hooked up. I can run a few trains. Um, and then also I've got to come back and look at block detection and what I'm doing. So I have sort of haven't cleaned it up in case I need to re divert certain wires. But anyway, there you go. So from underneath the layout, uh, that's all you need to do. And what we'll do now, we'll go over to the DCC cabinet, because as a bonus, I'll show you what we'll need to do with the PSX circuit breakers. Okay, I just wanted to sort of demonstrate what you'll find with the PSX. They actually react a lot quicker than the frog juices. With a frog juicer, the purpose I'm using it for is to switch polarity. But what you'll see, and I'll demonstrate in a minute, is when I don't program and I just by default install the PSX with the frog juicer, PSX is going to kick in first, the short's going to be detected, and it's going to shut out, shut down this part of the layout. So let me demonstrate here. I'll get this train up to speed. And as it approaches this point, it'll shut off. Okay, so there you have it. So what I'm gonna do now is go over to the DCC cabinet. I'm gonna show you the, where the, the PSX circuit breakers are and I'm gonna show you on my MRC system uh, what I need to go through the program. Now, for those that don't use MRC, and I'll spell out quite clearly what functions you're after, uh, but you just need to go back to your manual for your corresponding DCC controller and do the, the correct programming. Okay, here we are over at the DCC cabinet. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'll be looking at reprogramming those lines on the south side. So over here, you can see three main boards. Now, I've got one for the south side, one for the northern side of the layout, and this is also for the reverse loop on my layout. This one here, the south side one, is the one that I'm interested in. So right now, we, what we need to do is get the jumper pins in the correct position ready for programming. Now, before we do that, you have gotta make sure the power's off. Now, I've got the power off here, so I'm gonna take the jumper pin from the default two and three pins and change it to one and two pins. Okay, that's ready to go. So what I've done there is just preparing the board, getting it ready for the programming mode. So we'll get the power switched on to it. Okay, and hopefully you can see some red lights there, and that just means I've got power to it. So for the purposes of this board, there's two, two CVs that we're really interested in. One is CV55, and the other is CV65. Now by default, CV55 is more of an on-off switch for the timing. Here is my MRC. Now obviously, you may not be using this type of system, so you need to have a look at your manual, but I'll take you through the steps at least what the functions we're after. So first off is basically we need to program an address. Now we need to use an address that you're not gonna use anywhere else on the layout. And for me, I'm gonna use 9999. So as you can see there, first I'm gonna get, what we need to do is actually program on the main. That's the important one. Now, what this then takes me is a whole bunch of different functions, but what I'm interested, I need to get to where the CV is. So we're gonna scroll through I'm just hitting enter on mine. Yours may be something different, but just check out with your manual until we get to CV. So there you can see on the screen now, I hope it's not too bad. I've got the CV area. So I need to now hook into CV 55. So I'm gonna put 55 there and then hit enter again. And now it's about programming what we need in there. And for this case, it's by default at zero. So we need to turn it on and to turn it on, we program CV55 to be a one. Okay. Now, the second part to this is now going to CV65. Now, CV65 is all about the timing of when the PSX circuit breaker will kick in. Now, by default, these things are really, really fast. So we actually need to slow it down a little bit, give a chance for the frog juices to kick in first to switch that polarity. So now we're gonna to go to 65, Press enter, so I'm into it. So I'm gonna program one, two, eight. 
and now that sent it to the board. Now the thing with these boards when you set it up, and you probably won't see because I've got this control in the way. Now the boards, when you send something to the board, if it doesn't flash red, that means the, the information that you've sent hasn't gone through. Now in this case I've kept an eye on mine and each time I program a CV it's actually flashed once for each time I did it. So there you have it, That's, it's as simple as that. What I need to do now is to power it back off because what I need to do is go back to that jumper and put it back onto pins three and two. So we'll do that. And that just basically puts it back into operation mode. The PSX is being delayed by a little bit, given the chance for the frog juicer to kick in to swap the polarity. So hopefully nothing will short out and you'll see the train run through that point. Now what we should see here is that the train is able to run through that point without being shorted.